I've got parcels coming in and everything else. How do I get them? Well, my mail's supposed to be here on Friday, my stuff from China, so... It coincides with a Canada Post vaccination mandate that took effect Monday. Any employee who isn't or doesn't plan to be vaccinated has been placed on leave without pay, the company says. We as employees that were on leave without pay felt that this whole situation was so unnecessary. Canada Post is planning to suspend its mandatory vaccination practice in the coming weeks. When you're going back owing thousands of dollars to your employer after you were forcefully put on leave without pay, Lincoln J for Rebel News here in Toronto. Now, although it may seem like most of the vaccine mandates have been lifted across Canada, would you believe me if I told you that there are still people who are off work right now due to not disclosing their vaccination status? I'm going to share with you the story of a postie by the name of Joe Mary, one of allegedly 7,000 postal workers who have been placed on administrative leave without pay for not complying with the mandatory vaccination policy. The individuals who have been on the receiving end of these vaccine mandates have come together and created a group called Posties for Freedom that is working to restore the rights of all federal postal workers. Postal workers who have not disclosed their vaccination status have been off work since November 29th, 2021. All Although Canada Post has stated that they are working on an approach to bring these individuals back to work, Posties for Freedom is taking legal action to ensure this can never happen again in the future. The group alleges that Canada Post has denied three basic rights of employees, the right to participate, the right to refuse dangerous work, and the right to know. Have you ever been unsure of your rights as a Canadian citizen? Well, if that's the case, we have something just for you. In my hand here, I'm holding a Freedom Passport. Inside, it lists all of your rights as a Canadian citizen. Uh, if you want your own copy, you can go to freedompassport.ca and get one for yourself. Check it out. We're going to speak with Joe Marie and find out more about this group called Posties for Freedom. Let's check it out. My name is Joe. I've been working at Canada Post since I was 18 years old, so for a long time. Um, and my background there is really started in customer service and I'm still in customer service now. But, uh, you know, this situation uh, that's been brought forward since November has put my some of my peers and my colleagues on leave without pay, thousands of them. And what was happening at the corporation was, um, you know, a good reflection of where I have been working since I was 18. So we came together in November. We started, you know, trying to put some pressure on the system to reconsider its, its decision to impose such what we felt was extreme measures uh, that had very little data to support it. We as employees that were on leave without pay felt that this whole situation was so unnecessary and really felt that, you know, coming together and being a support system for each other at first was all that we were doing. And then it morphed into this group that, you know, was continuously having hope for, for change or for the unions to step up or for anybody to sort of speak up for employees. And we just never, never received that. Uh, response to any of our inquiries. You know, we've exhausted all of our other options and we are just needing to move forward with uh, legal representation and to, uh, you know, hold people accountable for these decisions that they've made. You know, being a hero uh, one year and then the next six months later being thrown out of your workplace for not making a medical decision is pretty confusing to a lot of people and, and being confused uh, brings a lot of employees into a depressive state. So we are working with Leighton Gray uh, from Gray Woke Spencer in Cold Lake, Alberta. It's been something that's uh, helped us feel that finally we have somebody who's speaking for us and who's going to do the right thing. I just want to be clear that there are a lot of postal workers who are vaccinated, they just choose not to share that information because in the past, you know, some very private medical information can be breached. There can be so many things that can happen. So a lot of postal workers just on principle did not want to disclose their, their vaccination status. So whenever Canada Post decides that, you know, uh, they will bring us back in a safe and orderly fashion, they have also indicated that 
our pensionable arrears are going to be collected, meaning that we're going to owe thousands of dollars for being on leave without pay for six months because during this six months, you're still accruing pensionable early earnings, you're still accruing some benefits even though you don't have access to them. And it's just very, very, very bad situation. People just don't understand the level and how deep it goes and how, how coercive it is of a process when you're going back owing thousands of dollars to your employer after you were forcefully put on leave without pay is again confusing it's it, it makes you feel like like not not a human being it makes you feel so depressed and i think a lot of posties are extremely strong for having made it this far we are still canada post employees we were told since the beginning that there was no plans to terminate our employment but you know being on forced on leave without pay you can argue is being you know terminated so i think a lot of posties they feel that way i think that uh, there's been little to no communication from canada post on this i'm a bit appalled by their method their choice of method to contact employees to come back through an automated call canada post is planning to suspend its mandatory vaccination practice in the coming weeks we recognize this has been a difficult time and acknowledge the toll it has taken on our employees canada post employees currently on leave without pay will be welcomed back to work once our plans are in place Finalizing a safe and orderly transition will take time, so employees should not expect to return to work on June 20th, 2022. Once plans are finalized, you will be called by your team leader regarding your return to work plan. Please watch for a call in the coming days and thank you for your time. I just feel so, so uh, disconnected from my employer. I feel no, nobody's reached out. Nobody's tried to, uh, you know, answer any of these questions. I think that a lot of posties uh, are hoping that the corporation will do the right thing or the union will, will do the right thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, so far, we have not seen that. We have no choice left but to seek legal uh, counsel and guidance because we are not uh, we are not abiding by by the Charter of Rights. All of the posties who have suffered will find comfort in knowing that there was a group of people um, that came together, that, that did something about this, and that were hopefully successful at holding people accountable and protecting the future of all of our children, but also just Every Canadian here needs to understand that they have a role to play right now to join these groups and to donate on postiesforfreedom.ca. That is where the pressure needs to continue right now. And though the mandates are suspended, that's the words that they're using. And we want Canadians to stand together so that the next time that uh, an attempt to um, take our, 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 our rights and our freedoms away under the guise of health and safety or under the guise of, of health care, that we are all uh, more educated this time, that we learn from what just happened and we don't make the same mistakes again. Hey guys, if you want to support our independent journalism, if you like the coverage we've been giving you, please head on over to rebelinvestigates.com. If you appreciate what we're doing, consider making a donation. Thanks guys.